Aragon is a third-person video game released for PlayStation 2 Xbox, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 and Microsoft Windows, developed by Stormfront Studios, also released are unique versions of Aragon for the Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, PlayStation Portable, and mobile phone handheld gaming systems, primarily developed by Amaze Entertainment. The game is based upon the Aragon film, which is loosely based on the book Aragon, by Christopher Paolini. The games were released on November 14, 2006 in the United States of America, on November 24, 2006 in European countries and on November 23, 2006 in Australia in order to coincide with the release of the film. In the game the player takes on the role of the protagonist from the book and film, Aragon, and occasionally controls his dragon Sephira. The game was generally received poorly by critics, usually receiving press averages around the 4 to 6 out of 10 region or the equivalent. The combined sales in North America were over 400,000 copies. Topic: <laughs> Gameplay. The majority of the game is taken up by third-person combat, usually on foot. At the start of the game the player can use four combo attacks. Additionally, they can use three basic magic attacks, magic push, pull thrist of in R, magic shield scolier, and magic fire Breisinger. These three magic attacks can be utilized in different ways for example, Breisinger arrows, or throwing spears in baskets magically. On the PC and console versions excluding the Xbox 360 version there are 16 levels, some missions permit the player to use the Dragon Sephira in combat. The gameplay mechanics within these levels are largely similar to those in ground-based levels, with the exception of some different attack moves such as tail attacks. Protagonist Aragon sits on Sephira's back during these sections, and can be made to fire magic arrows. The player has no choice as to whether or not they use Sephira. Similarly, the player cannot use Sephira in ground-based levels, they can call for her and she will swoop past, but it is not possible to use this feature to ride Sephira. There is a multiplayer co-op mode which allows two people to play through the main storyline. It is possible to switch from playing a one-player game to a two-player game at any time. There are no internet multiplayer options. Plot. <laughs> While hunting in the spine, 15-year-old Aragon finds a mysterious blue stone. He keeps it, thinking that it can be sold or bartered. However, the stone is actually a dragon egg. Aragon names the dragon Sephira from the list of dragon's names he heard from the storyteller Brahm. Sephira's hatching attracts the attention of the cruel king Galbatorix. The king dispatches servants to Aragon's village to find the dragon. They are unsuccessful and Aragon's uncle is killed and his home burned down. Brahm, whom Aragon considers as nothing more than an old storyteller, helps him fight his way out of the village. He then gives Aragon an old sword, known as Zarok in the book series. Aragon, and Sephira make their way to Derret, where they are attacked in the docks. They find the rest of the town on fire and hold off a swarm of the king's servants as the villagers try to put out these fires. After leaving Derret, the three are pursued by a group of Razak. The group are caught in an ambush, Sephira becomes trapped under debris and Aragon must both try to free her and hold off the Razak. After defeating the nearby enemies, the group make their way to Gilead, where Aragon and Brahm sneak through the city and keep to try and free Arya. After a lengthy battle through Durza's fortress, Aragon meets Arya and Murtaugh, who now join the group. This helps alleviate the mournful situation when Brahm jumps in the way of a spear intended to kill Aragon and is fatally injured and dies. The group escape from Gilead on Sephira's back, but face some cull in the ruins of Orthiad. After defeating many cull and Urgles they make their way to the Beor Mountains, where more Urgles lie in wait. They then sneak through an Urgle encampment, and make their way through a misty gorge. The group get to the Vardens' hideout and defend it against hordes of Urgles. Aragon and Sephira then face Durza a second time, mounted on the back of a huge, bat-like monster, eventually killing him. Development On April 18, 2006 Vivendi Universal Games announced that they were to publish a video game adaptation of the Aragon film to be released in December of the same year. 
It was slated to appear on most of the major game platforms PlayStation 2 Xbox, Xbox 360, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, PlayStation Portable and PC. The console versions were set to be developed by Stormfront Studios, who had previously worked on the game adaptation of The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Amaze Entertainment, who had previously worked on the game versions of Pirates of the Caribbean and Over the Hedge, were to develop the handheld versions. A GameCube version was planned but it was later cancelled. On the same day Vivendi announced that the first possible chance to see the game would be at the Electronic Entertainment Expo in May 2006. On May 11, 2006 it was confirmed by Yahoo that the game had been in development since pre-production of the film. The game was previewed at Comic-Con 2006, where the public was allowed to play only one level named the Derrett Bridge. The enemies consisted entirely of Urgles, and the player had to overcome several obstacles using Magic and Sephira. Christopher Paolini played other levels at Comic-Con, such as Spine Mountains. The game was also shown at the 2006 Games Convention in Leipzig, Germany. Actress Sienna Guillory, who plays the elf Arya in the film, made personal appearances at the Vivendi stand to promote the game. In October 2006, it was announced that the actors from the Aragon film would lend their voices to the game adaptation. Specifically, Edward Spilliers playing the title character, Sienna Guillory, Arya, Garrett Hedlund, Murtaugh, and Robert Carlyle, Durza, were slated to lend their voices. Animation supervisor Wes Takahashi served as an external art director for the game. Topic: <laughs> Releases. The console and PC versions of the game are very similar, focusing on the same style of gameplay. However, the Xbox 360 edition features two exclusive levels. One is on foot as Aragon, and Sephira is controlled in the second mission. It also features the Cull, an enemy from the novels. However, there are differences between their description in the novels and their appearance in the games. In the books they are 8 feet tall and wield the same weapons as other Urgles, but the game portrays them as 12-foot brutes wielding flaming clubs. The handheld games are significantly different from the PC and console versions. The Game Boy Advance game centers on role-playing rather than combat, whilst the PSP game focuses on multiplayer action and aerial dragon levels. The DS edition uses its touch screen in the battle system. A version was released for the mobile phone. It allows alternate control of Aragon and Sephira, but unlike the console versions it allows multiple paths to be taken whilst still following the main storyline and allows customization of the playable character in terms of skills which can be selected. The mobile game also provides a cheat code which, when entered into the console versions, will make the ''Fury Mode'' become available. The official strategy guide was published by Prima Games and authored by Eric Milonas. On December 6, 2006 a preview of the guide was made available from the Sierra webpage. Critical reception The game has received generally negative reviews, 45 to 55 out of 100 according to review aggregator sites Metacritic and GameRankings, GameSpot rated the game 4.2 out of 10, and GameSpy gave it a similar score of 2 out of 5. PC Gamer UK slated the PC version of the game, describing the plot as, "...thinner than hospital undies", complaining about the tedious and repetitive side-scrolling action. They ended up summarizing it as, a profoundly uninspiring tie-in", and gave it 53%. IGN came to a similar conclusion, primarily criticizing the poor camera, unsophisticated combat and shortness. They rated the game 4.7 out of a possible 10, however, the handheld versions of the game generally received more positive reviews. The Nintendo DS version received a positive review from IGN, who praised it for its solid gameplay, enjoyable quests, being long for a movie license, and having thorough menu and tutorial system." It received 7.5 out of a possible 10. IGN said that it is surprisingly well developed for a Nintendo DS game. 